Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today I thought I would do a my base makeup tutorial um, just to show you what my current little routine is at the minute. So if you want to watch how I get my base makeup done, um, which is what you see me done in most of my videos already because I go into more of the eye and the lip looks, then continue watching. I'm going to go in first with my Body Shop um, Strawberry Face Spray just to give me a bit of hydration because I have dry skin. And then for my foundation, I've been recently using, I've got none of this out yet, is the Maybelline products. So I want to prime my skin first. So let me just grab everything out. And when I use this little routine, it lasts me the whole day. So just get some bits out. This is the process that I go through <laughs> to get what I want. I have two separate bags, so one for the face and one for like, you know, the under eyes and everything like that. Try my skin first. I'm going to go in with my Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. I've used this for ages and I love how it primes my skin. I'm going to get a little dollop of this and literally massage it into my skin until it feels all tacky and sticky so that will help your foundation to stick on put a little bit down my neck so do go with the foundation just under my neck or rather my chin so you want to massage this into your skin until it feels sticky and next i'm going to apply my pore minimizing primer which is the one from smashbox this one right here and only pick up like I don't know, less than a pea size, so that much there. And I work it through my fingers, the middle finger that I have. And what I'll do is I'll apply it straight onto where my pores are normally, which is just here, and pat it in to begin with. And then slowly I'll work it over my nose. Now I've noticed by doing this, it helps to not break my foundation down. If I put a little bit on there, it doesn't get as oily. So I'll put majority of it on the tops of my cheeks, like this. And then a little down my smile lines. Once I've done that, I then use a the Revolutions Strobe Cream. This is just so it brings a bit of light onto my skin. So on the cheekbones and above my brows is the only place I put it. And then I just massage this in. And I do go on my forehead as well because I'm quite dry, I've got a dry skin so I'm not really fussed about um, getting the extra dew. And then I apply some of it as well onto my brow bone area. And what this does, it gives it that subtle golden sheen as well to the skin. So foundation, like I said I've been using the Maybelline ones and the first one I've got is the Super Stay one, which is that. And this is in the shade 51 Caramel Beige. And then I also use the Matte and Paulus in 330. So the reason I use both of them is because this one's too light and the other one's too dark. So I get one pump of this on the back of my hand. And then a similar blob size from the Matte and Paulus as well. And then I'll mix the two together and apply it with my Beauty Blender. So I try to apply this evenly on the skin as well. So each area's got enough foundation coverage on it. I just have this fear sometimes where I've not pressed record. <laughs> so I have to look at the camera monitor to see if I have. So I'm now gonna go in and blend this in with my Beauty Blender. So I like to blend it until it feels like it's sort of dried into the skin and I try to work in little sections first. Move my hair out the way. Got a lot of baby hairs at the minute. And I'm gonna take a little bit down the chin as well because I don't want to have any demarcation lines either. As you can see it blends in really nicely into the skin as well. It's literally been like my, I won't say my every day because I don't really wear a lot of makeup when I go to work. This is more at the weekend when I have more time and I, and I want to wear a bit more. When I go to work, I just literally have concealer under my eyes 
and a bit of face makeup and that's it. Not for like foundation, not the full cake. If you want to see my everyday work makeup then give this video a like and leave the comments down below and I'll do that one for you. So once I feel like everything is blended in, I will then go in and do my eyebrows. So I, what I'll do is, because I think I recently put up an eyebrow tutorial anyway. Well, I say recent, but a couple of videos ago. I had one, and it's literally the same stuff. But if you want another updated one, then let me know and I can do that. But I'm going to go off camera, do my eyebrows, and then I'll come back and finish off my face. So I'm back. I've just done my eyebrows. So the next thing I do is I have uh, some discoloration under my eyes because it's quite dark and blue. And that's because it's hereditary and because I'm Asian, a lot of Asian people get darkness under the eyes. So I like to colour correct it with my MAC Prep and Prime. Um, this is called a highlighter but really I call it a corrector because it's got that orange tone. And this is in the shade Peach Lustre. So I literally put this in the inner corner of my eye underneath where the most darkness is. Because you don't want to put too much because less is more with this product really. And then I'll go in with my finger to warm up the colour and spread it out under there. So I put most of it where the darkness is because that's where I want the colour correction to be made. And then I'll blend it out towards the outer eye area. And then for concealer, I use the Maybelline Fit Me's and I've got two shades again, so this is the one. So the darkest one is number 30 and the lightest one is number 25. So with number 30, I apply this again in the inner corner of the eye. And this is more of a orangey yellow shade. So again, this will help with colour correcting. And then the lighter one I'll use to highlight the skin. And I like to go down the nose first and then go back up and wing out the eye area. I feel like the doe foot and these aren't that big either, so I have to dip in twice for this colour. I take it down my cheeks as well because I want them to be lifted because to me that gives it that youthful look. Yeah, I really like this concealer. Um, it gives me the coverage that I want and it doesn't crease either and then I apply it on the centre of my face so like my forehead, down my nose, on my chin a little and a little bit on the cupid's bow. On the chin, a little on the cupid's bow just to give it that highlight and then the rest on the chin. So I think I did about, I don't know, five dip-ins with that shade. And then again, I'll go in with my beauty blender to blend that out. But before I do, I also cream contour. And this is the Make a Revolution foundation stick, but I use this as a contour. And this is in the shade F14. So I apply it on the tops of my cheekbones, a stripe in the middle of my forehead, and on the sides. A little bit under my chin. When this is blending, it'll give it that pouty look and make your lips look a bit fuller. And then a few dots on my chin, chin bone, or jawline rather. So what I like to do first is blend in the concealer. So I do my under eyes and my nose last because I want the colour to be there. So, so I start with my chin and my forehead first. Trying to not touch my eyebrows because I've just done them. All I want to do is literally pat this on the skin. You don't want to be rubbing it and smearing it because you might disrupt the foundation that's underneath. And then I keep it bow. Now I'm going to do my nose. So you want to pinch your beauty blender when you do this because you want to keep this as straight as possible. I've got an itchy nose. Now if it looks a bit harsh, don't worry because I am going to powder contour as well and I'll go in with the under eyes it looks like a lot of concealer under the eyes but once once <laughs> once you've blended everything in it doesn't look as harsh and the beauty blender will help to pick up any excess product as well 
I do take a little bit up the side of my nose as well and this will give it that reverse contouring look but again like I said I will be powder contouring the nose anyway but that just helps it a little bit right so I'm not going to blend it completely because I need to blend out my contour so I'm going to flip my beauty blender over and use a fatter side so for the chin I like to gently just move it because if I was blending it it might move the product a little bit more and then for the chin I like to round it out a little because that's what I like for my chin and then once I feel like that's blended whatever's left over I can then work that down the neck and again that will help not to get any dismark any marks any marks of where it starts and finishes so just do the, the lower lip and then move my hair back to do my forehead my hair's actually pulled pretty back with this ponytail so with the concealer it looked a bit pale and a lot of the colour was taken away but with this contour colour it brings warmth back into the skin I have a little ball patch there so I'll try and cover that up with the contour like that and then do the, the cheekbones now you don't want to go too low with it so you want to literally dab the beauty blender where the colour is and just work your sponge up towards the cheek not going down towards the jaw so I'm happy with that one I really like the stick for contouring I've not got a shade to do the foundation because um, I don't think I can find one but I might try it out because again it doesn't get greasy or crease anywhere so I think it'll be a nice foundation colour as well if I can find mine so once I've done that I then go back to where I used the concealer and you'll have some product left so what I like to do is take it down the bottom of my cheekbones so if I did get a bit low that will clean up so you can see that line there and then I'll go around with this side again just in case the contour got a bit too low so now I'm going to set my under eyes but before I do that I just want to make sure that I'm not going to be setting any creases so what you want to do is I'll just stretch my mouth down for this bit and then while you're not trying to blink you want to pick up your powder this is a collection powder and this is a loose setting powder so I apply this first on the under eye because that's where I would crease first and then I'll pack a load on my nose because I realised like I said I'm a dry person I've got dry skin but sometimes my nose would get really oily so that's why I started using the Smashbox primer on there and doing baking my nose actually helps to keep the oils at bay and then whatever powder I've got left I'm going to use that on my mouth chin and forehead because again I don't want to set too much of it I'm going to put a little bit on the nose in the crack of the nose as well and on my smile lines because they can come up I look ridiculous right now so that's the powder inside. so this powder is a collection one just looks like that and this is the sheer loose powder in number two translucent so now I'm going to I look friggin funny right now <laughs> I'm going to contour this is a powder contour that I've been using and this is the makeup revolution pro HD one in the shade light medium so as you can see these two are my most loved ones so I swirl my brush into both of them and this is I think this is a contour brush from Real Techniques and I like to pat on the colour first because we had cream under there go around patting that colour on and this will help with the blend as well when we come to it do the same on the chin and then once I feel like it's a little bit set I can then go in and blend everything when I put powder on my nose, I get really itchy though. I look so funny. 
And again, you want to take it down the neck a little because you don't want any demarcation lines. A bit more up to then contour the cheeks and the face. Like, I know at the minute it looks ridiculous how I look right now with that powder. But you have to trust in the process because once we take it all away, it will last you the whole day. Oh, it's really itchy today. So I like to take some of it onto the cheek area as well because that gives you a bit of colour. Now I'm going to pick up the lightest colour in there and go under the lip and then also contour my nose. Now I'm just pinching the brush to do this as well. So when you contour your nose, <laughs> it actually brings your nose back in. So now I'm going to do is just bake on the sides of my nose just to make sure that there are straight even lines. So I'll put it on the side and then a little bit in the middle as well. And then I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter. It says highlighter but I use it more of a bronzer topper and this will bring back some light into the skin. I need a little bit, you don't want to do too much. And then I'm going to go in and bake under the cheekbones. A little bit on the chin, a little bit on the forehead just to bring some light back. And then I'm going to go off camera again just to let that sit for about a couple of minutes. And then I'll come back and show you how I do my highlighter and blusher and everything. I'm back and don't I look so funny. So I've literally set, let this sit, I don't know, about two or three minutes and then I'll grab my big fluffy brush this is my blusher brush which has nothing on it and literally dust everything off and then what i'll do is i'll grab a little brush which is the real technique setting brush and take a bit more off with more precision precision so as you can see by baking everything has helped to give more nicer lines and i want to make sure that all that baking powder has come off and you can see the nose is looking a bit more straight as well I like to make sure that my nose is blended in because sometimes I can go a bit ham with the contour powder and it can look a bit muddy but by blending it with this little brush helps it and then what I do is because I had so much powder on my face I go in again with my Body Shop strawberry spray and what this will do is help all the powders to melt into the skin. I'm going to grab my fan. This will again help everything to look a lot more smoother and go in within the skin. You can still see that little bit of high shine, not high shine, but of a sheen on the tops of my cheek. And that's because of the Revolution highlighting powder that it calls itself to be, but it isn't. So while my skin's a little bit wet, I then go with my highlighter. This is the Anastasia Amrezi one. And I'm going to pick this up on my Real Techniques the Setting Brush. And I like to apply it right at the tops of my cheeks. I used to put it here, which it didn't look right. So I've noticed by putting it right on the tops of my cheeks, that's where your highlight will normally hit you. So with the flattest part of the brush, I apply it. And then with the tips of the brush, I then blend it out very gently, going back into the hairline. Before the other side sets quickly, with the flat of the brush, you want to apply the highlight. And then with the tip of the brush, you then want to blend it out. And I blend it out by going in round circle motions. So again, you want to go flat on first to apply the product, and then you want to turn it over so the tip of the brush is then blending out the product for you. And again, you want to work it into the back to the hairline so your highlighter doesn't stop and start. And then whatever's left on that brush, I sweep a little bit over onto my forehead or above the brows and a little bit on the chin. And then again, a little on the cupid's bow. Sometimes when I put on my blusher, I feel like there isn't enough highlight there. Right now there is because I've just applied the highlighter. Um, but when I go with blushes, sometimes I feel like it's gone a bit. And then you want to use a tip of the brush again 
just to lightly highlight the tip of the nose and then go in the center I want to concentrate more of it in where you if you wore glasses where your glasses would sit but I like the majority of it to be on that tip of the nose what is this piece of my hair doing there we go it's a bit hidden not a lot a bit I'm going to apply a little bit more on literally the highest point of my cheek. Then once I'm happy with that, I then go back in with my beauty blender and pat in the highlight. So with the dampness of this, again, will help this to melt into your skin and not look like it's sitting on there like a powder. Then again, this is when I use the beauty blender again to help with a blend of that nose contour that I've got. Then now for blush, I've been using Max Peach Twist, which is a shimmer blush, and this is what it looks like. So it's got a golden reflect, but there's that nice pink colour in there as well. And I use my Real Techniques blusher brush, and I apply most of it on the apples of my cheek and then sweep it back again. So this is going to sit in between your bronzer, your contour bronzer and your highlight. And you want to make sure that they're all blended in together. Because oh, what I used to do is do my bronzer, contour and blusher and then put on the highlights. And what it looked like was the highlight was just sitting on the top of the skin. It wasn't blended. So now I've opted in for using blusher after I've done the majority of my highlights. And with this blusher, because it has that little bit of a shimmer in it, it melts in with the highlight very nicely. So like I said, I like to put a majority of it on the apples of my cheek and then work it back. And then whatever's left over, I'll just go around the perimeter of my face just to give it that warmth again. So if you feel like you've lost a little bit of that highlight, which I don't think I have, then you can go back in again with that highlight like that and again blend all in with the beauty blender sometimes if you feel if i feel like you know it's looking a bit messy i will grab my makeup revolution palette again and go in with this pinky white color and this yellow color down at this bottom and what this will do is just bring back some of the lights back in and you can also bring back some of the you know the defined lines if you want them defined if you don't then just lightly dust over sometimes i go under my eyes you don't want to go too much just a little and then the side of my nose and then that's basically it really so this is basically it for my base makeup um, if you enjoyed this video guys then please give it a quick thumbs up leave a comment down below if there's anything that I've missed or you want to see a different variation of um, like I said I can do the look that I have on my everyday going to work makeup um, if that's what you're interested in it literally takes me about 10-15 minutes for that one um, if you haven't subscribed already then please do um, as that will really help me out and I hopefully and hopefully I'll see you guys soon bye